Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new, I'm Melissa and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on this channel. So, I am exhausted today. I am tired. I am a new puppy mom. I can only imagine what it's like to be a real mom. I couldn't do it yet. I threw on a crap ton of concealer and I was like, I need a shopping day. However, I can't take a lot of time to go out shopping right now. So I was like, let's do a little online shopping. I have my computer right here and let's just see what trouble we can get ourselves into. I also need to buy a few things for my new puppy, Sunny. I need to get a spot cleaner for my carpet. I wanna get some stuff from Target. Let me put my hair back. This is getting serious. All right, we're ready. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen with you so you can see everything that I'm looking for but I think I'm gonna be doing a haul of all the stuff I get today at a later time whenever all the stuff comes in. So that will be another future video that we have, but let's start taking a look at Target. I know I need a few household essentials like the Infuse line from Target. My mom gave me the mop head. It's like a mopping system where you get these refillable cartridges that go into the mop and have like a clean cleaning solution. So she gave me the mop, which is super awesome, but I need to buy some cartridges for it and some extra pads. Ooh, and they're on sale. So here's the infused pads. I wanna get like two of them because they're reusable so you just like wash them. Bam, done. Here's the cleaning solution for it. So here's a little video, let me show you. You just add water into this cartridge and then you put in the little cleaning cartridge. Wham, bam, you have a clean floor. It's not like electric or anything, you like hand pump the mop. I'm being so descriptive right now. You know what, I need a coffee. Let's make a coffee. <laughs> up at like two o'clock last night to help the puppy go potty and I just didn't sleep great since then so that's why I'm so tired today oh actually just got reminded I'm thinking about doing a spring capsule wardrobe obviously I am a repeat outfit offender I repeat outfits all the time which I think you should be doing you should be getting good use out of your clothes so I was thinking something fun we could do is I could put together a capsule wardrobe and I need some pieces today that's why I need those tank tops so I figured I could do a video on that too if you guys would like to see because I do hauls here and there but I tend to gravitate towards like the same pieces that I get for that season in the hauls and that are already in my closet. Anyway, I'm thinking about doing that. So I need some tanks plus size tanks. Oh, perfect. These are the ones that I like. I need them in a 4X because they're super, super thin and they're shorter than normal. I got these in the 2X when I went on my trip to Charleston. Was it Charleston? Yeah, and they were like slightly too small for me. I'll put a picture right here of an outfit I put together with one of their tanks. It was super cute and springy even though it was like winter. Yeah, winter. Okay, anyway, I'm definitely gonna get black and I also need white. Bam, and they're super affordable. They're not as good of a quality as they have been in previous years, these tank tops. However, it's a good stable piece to have. And obviously you guys notice the sizes that I've been having to get have been fluctuating a lot the past year, which is to be expected since I'm on my intuitive eating journey. So I don't wanna invest in like really expensive tank tops right now. Okay, tank tops. Oh, you know what I also wanted? I wanted to get that you know how I have that like checkered box? I wanted to get another set for my room. So I wanted to get the big one. There's only two left. So those aren't available. That stinks. 
but I just love how this looks. It's so cute. Oh, and while we're here, I can finally show you the Sterling check from Mackenzie Childs. I am in love and I don't care who knows it. Oh, here we go. Look at how cute she is. Isn't that so me with like the gold and like the gray checkered? This is a cookie jar and I was thinking about getting two because I have this little heart dish that I keep little chocolates out in case anybody comes over, they can get a little chocolate. I was thinking about having like a treat jar for humans and then a treat jar for my pups. They're expensive, nobody yell at me, I know, but it is so cute. The only thing is, let me show you right here, pre-order. So that means it's not coming until May and I'm gonna be moving before then. So I don't think I'm gonna buy these yet, but I wanted to show you because once we move, even if they're on pre-order, I'll buy them the second I have a new address. We just have no idea where we're moving yet. So when I do know, I will buy these. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Mackenzie Childs is just this like home decor brand where I'll just click on a random thing. It's like a home goods brand, but they're known for like their checkered prints. This is called the Courtly check and then they have Royal check and now they have the Sterling check, which I just showed you. And it's just like high end home decor. And I used to see these pieces growing up. My mom actually did some house sitting for some of her clients and I would go there and help her. And these homes, these beautiful homes had like a ton of Mackenzie Childs. So I just associate like Mackenzie Childs with like beautiful homes. So <laughs> I like to put a few pieces in my own home. They are hand painted and handmade. So they have really good quality and they have something called a barnyard sale, I think it's called. I don't know how many times a year. I've only bought something from there once, but if they ever have like a misprint, like if they painted something and there's nothing wrong with the item, there just might be a teeny little detail that's off, they put it in the barnyard sale. So you can get the things more affordable if you shop then. But that was a tangent from Mackenzie Childs. I think when you have too much of it, it gets like really overwhelming. And I don't like some of the Mackenzie Childs stuff with like the red accents, but I do like the clear and the gold. I think it's really pretty. So that's why I wanted to get these boxes because it gives me that similar vibe. So we have the boxes, the tanks. They have something on here I saw. It was called a ballerina dress. I was thinking about picking those up because I thought they would be like great spring and summer staples. I thought this would just be a super easy dress to throw on for the spring and the summer and it would be part of my capsule wardrobe. So I think I might pick it up in white and the black. I do like the pink but I already have that pink dress and I don't need too many pink dresses because you guys know I'm only going to wear them so often. Oh that's so cute. So this dress right here I've had in the past but it just no longer fits me and I absolutely loved it. And this is the same dress. It's just super chill and relaxed. However, these girls look short and I'm short. I'm 5'4". So I'm wondering if it's going to look like that cut on me because I'm not in love with the midi dress, as you know. But I'll try them out. Worst case scenario, I have to return them. So I'm going to get this in white and black. I'm going to go ahead and place this order and we are going to move on to our next website. The next website we're at is Skims. I've wanted to try their like actual t-shirt bras for the longest time. I have a few bras, but they don't fit me. This is kind of the downside of intuitive eating and just going through this process. Things just aren't fitting me and it's getting a little bit expensive to say the least because I have to keep repurchasing different things and it's getting to be a little annoying. However, I have a much better relationship with food than I've ever had in my entire life. I can confidently say that. I've been working with a dietitian. I am going to be, once we move, I'm gonna work on getting a psychologist because my mental health has not been good. Like it's been bad, pretty bad. So I definitely need more help than I'm already getting, but we'll get there when we get there. So if I ever seem off in a video, chances are I'm probably feeling a little bit off in real life, but it's okay, it's, it happens. Okay, bras. So. I really wanna try a push-up bra and then a regular bra from Skims to see how I like them. I'm probably a 44 and I'm probably a D. So what colors do we have in 44D? Oxide. This is the color I'm gonna get then. <laughs> so I'll try this. How much is it? $52, that's expensive, but that's like standard, I feel like. I looked at Target the other day for bras and I couldn't find any that like would fit me or seemed like it'd be something I'm interested in. So I'm just gonna try these. Kim is getting more of my money, but kudos to her for making an inclusive brand. 
semi-inclusive. She goes with to a 4X, but I don't think it's a true 4X because like I'm the limit of what her site offers for sizing wise. Okay, so this one has adjustable shoulder straps, full coverage cups with extra padding, an adjustable hook and eye back closure. So this seems just like a standard push-up bra. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one and I hope it fits. I seriously hope. I'm gonna try another bra too because you get free shipping at $75 and the chances of one bra fitting me, like one random bra, isn't very high. So that one, maybe I'll just try like the t-shirt bra now. Do we have a 44D in any color? Oxide again. Okay, so what's the difference? This one is so I think the other one is just a push up and then this one isn't. So if I get the same size, I'll be able to see if this fits me. That was fast. I'm gonna go ahead and check out now and we are gonna move on to the next website, which I'm not sure what website it's gonna be yet. I just need to get a spot cleaner for my carpet because my puppy has been missing his pee pads. I severely underestimated the amount of work getting a puppy was. I love Sunny to death. He's my little angel, but I thought they slept a little bit more than they did. <laughs> He's well taken care of though, don't worry. He's with his dad right now. Nick is working and keeping Sunny busy. And then we have Buddy in a different room because they're not the best of friends yet. So we do let them have like integrated playtime, but Buddy needs his own space. So he's in his own space right now. And also if I kept Buddy out here right now while I'm filming, he cries when I film because like I'm talking and I'm not like giving him attention. That's why you don't see Buddy in my videos a lot. I have to, if I'm like talking at a camera, he doesn't understand and it like upsets him or something. I don't really know. He gets like bored of me talking. He doesn't like to hear my voice. I wish you could see my makeup in real life. It looks so cakey. <laughs> it's so bad today. Oof. Okay, what was I doing? So I'm gonna go ahead and place this order and we're gonna move on to finding a spot cleaner. So I know Bissell makes a spot cleaner and I saw one of the, I think he's called the Detail Geek here on YouTube. He uses the spot cleaner in cars and he like highly recommends it and he details cars like constantly. I know I watch the most random videos on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to find my Bissell spot cleaner. Ooh, I think it's pro. This is the one. Ooh, Kohl's has it too. Kohl's always has coupons. It's a bestseller. Every purchase saves pets. Bissell proudly supports Bissell Pet Foundation and its mission to help save homeless pets. Oh my gosh, love that. So this is exactly what I need. I need something to clean up these little messes. However, Folex has been a godsend. Folex, the carpet cleaner, has been helping me. And then I also have this cleaner from Resolve. So I do Folex to get the stain out and then I do Resolve to kind of like actually clean and deodorize too. I don't know, I like to do both just because I don't want my carpet ruined. I'm gonna get it professionally clean before we move. But in the meantime, a little spot cleaner is really gonna come in handy, especially because I still haven't gotten that coffee stain out that I got on there from Christmas. Do you guys remember that? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna buy this. I saw this one, I, I'm not even gonna look further. Let's see if I can get any coupons though. Okay, this is awesome. I found a coupon, so it originally was $169 and then there is a $34 coupon. So with tax, it all comes to $144, which is pricey and that's a lot of money to spend on something. However, this is a good thing to invest in because this will probably last us like a lifetime, if not as long as we need it for with pets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and then we will move on to Nordstrom for more fun stuff. All right, time for some Nordstrom shopping. I went on the Nordstrom website and I saw that I already have some stuff in my cart. This isn't stuff that I'm 100% getting. I just like sometimes look at things that I think are cool and then I just put them in my cart for later. I saw these nightgowns from, it's Nordstrom brand, it's called Moonlight Nightgown. And I have some of their, moon. I have a set from them. It's like their Moonlight set. So it was like a top and bottom and they were so nice. And this literally is identical to the dress I'm wearing today. The dress I'm wearing today is from Hill House Home and it's their nap dress. And then this is literally the Moonlight Nightgown. So I think this is supposed to be the actual nightgown version of the Hill House nap dress, if that makes sense. I'll link the Hill House nap dress down below. It is pricey, but like it is so beautiful and I think it's gonna be so flattering on so many people. This 100% is gonna be in my capsule wardrobe for the spring and summer. I do wanna see if they have more colors because I only bought it in black. I got this when I was going on my trips for like date nights. However, this 
looks like it would be such a comfortable nightgown and i feel like you'd have like a tiny tiny bit of support in your chest region because it's like scrunchied what is this called i'm totally forgetting smocked so they have pink hero and they have black and they're in plus sizes so i'm considering getting the 3x I wouldn't wear this out. This is definitely like a nightgown. Oh, these are cute too down here. So I was considering getting the pink and the black and just having these for the week. It is pricey, $70 for a nightgown. <sighs> That's a little expensive. I'm considering picking those up though because I'm in Florida. Okay, so let's move on to some sandals I found that I'm kind of obsessed with. So let's look at these Gucci sandals. There's no way in heck I'm getting these because they're $750 and I'd rather spend that money on that LV piece that I want. And then I'm kind of done with luxury purchases for the foreseeable future until I get a home because that's going to become the priority. However, look how pretty these are. I saw these and I was like, oh, if I had some money to blow, I would 100% be getting these. These are just so cute. This would be like my perfect spring or summer sandal. It's black, white, and gold. So like, how could you not love this? So pretty. My only issue is when I wear slides like this, I'm flat footed, so sandals kind of like, I don't know. I don't, my feet don't stay inside sandals like this. The sandal kind of like shifts out from under my foot and it's so annoying. So that's why you're going to see me in a lot of strappy sandals because it kind of like keeps my foot in. And then like if I have a back strap on the sandal, it like secures the shoe on my foot. Problems you didn't even care to know about me, but I'm going to tell you. So that's in here. I wanted to show you guys that because that was so cute. And then the last thing that I saw that I think I'm going to be trying out is this sculpting body lotion this is from first aid beauty they make really good products i was thinking about getting this i don't think this is truly gonna help sculpt my body that's not really why i'm buying it typically though sculpting products absorb quickly into the skin and then dry quickly but they still moisturize to an extent because they're trying to like plump and firm your skin so i was thinking this would be like the perfect lotion to use once I get out of the shower. I've talked a little bit about my mental health struggles lately and part of that is I need super simple skincare and like body care things to do when I am not feeling my best but I'm trying to make myself feel better. If it has too many steps or it's like too finicky I'm not going to do it and so something is better than nothing and I feel like this is something that would absorb quickly. I can just go bam 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 it's on me. I'll feel more moisturized so I'll feel better in the long run. And that might solve a problem. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna get this for sure. Let's look at the ingredients. Water, glycerin. This is fractioned coconut oil right here. This is a conditioning alcohol, caffeine. I think that's supposed to be what like firms your skin. This is vitamin B. Squalene, I love this as an ingredient. Colloidal oatmeal. That's good for eczema. Okay, yeah. So I'm 100% going to try this. Typically, I'd get something like this from Sephora. But if I'm going to get those dresses from Nordstrom, I might as well just like order it from here. Let's just keep looking though. Let's see what's new. Beauty. New arrivals. You know what? I actually wanted to try this mascara. This MAC MAC Stack mascara. They have two versions of it, like a thick applicator and a thin applicator. However, I am going through a few mascaras right now, so I think I'll wait on getting mascara until I've gone through the tubes that I already have because I'm trying not to be wasteful. You know what I also need? I need a hair detangler. My hair has been getting so tangled. Believe it or not, this has already been brushed through. I actually didn't do anything to my hair other than brush it. Like, I didn't put anything in it post shower and i slept on it so it's looking a little crazy my hair would have been like perfect for the 70s though i feel like because i get this like wave thing in the front i do not have naturally straight hair that is for sure except my roots are a little straight but i have some sort of wave okay what did we get so far today we got the bissel we got some bras we got a few things from target that's where we're at <laughs> I always like to see what's new in plus size fashion. So let's take a looky. Ooh, this little dress is cute. We'll take a look at that in a second. 
I really want to try the Skims Fits Everybody Biker Shorts, but I think they're all sold out except in this pink color. And I'm not sure I want the pink color. And they look like they're going to be see-through, to be honest. If it's the exact same material as the thongs and the bras, I can't imagine that this is super opaque. So I won't be trying these for a little while, but I really want to try the black ones, but I don't have to wait for them to come back in stock. So those are no. Oh, and here's the cute little dress. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. $39 for this BP dress. Do they have my size? They have up to a 4X, but I'd probably try a 3X first. You know what I really need to do? I need to get some sunshine. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. That's a side point. Maybe I'll do a little vlog for Sunday of me going out and getting things done tomorrow. Cause I need to get groceries. Long story short, we try to order Whole Foods groceries. They only sent us half our order. And then we spent like two hours trying to get in touch with, cause they said they were like bringing the second half of our order. So we waited all day for it and then it never came. And then they said they're not bringing it, but they weren't giving us a refund. So then we had a call. It was literally this whole thing. And we kept calling and entering the chat and they kept like hanging up on us and then like closing out the chat. So for a second, I'm like, is our account flagged for something? And they just like, don't want to talk to us. I don't know. It was weird. Long story short, after multiple hours, literally 10 plus chats and calls, we finally got it sorted out and they gave us a refund for what we didn't get. However, I never made the new order yet because I was kind of just overwhelmed with that day. This is gonna be a super chatty video. So I might get this dress. I need to think on it because it's $40 and I might have something similar in my closet, but I need to check. If I do end up getting it, I will show you in a future video. When I do a haul of all the stuff that I got today, I need to make it a little bit interesting, a little mysterious, you know? But how is everybody doing? What's going on? I feel like I... Um, haven't been my best lately. How did I get here? Did I literally just subconsciously click on designer? Who do I think I am? <laughs> What's up? Ooh, those are cute. Unpopular opinion. I don't like the red on the bottom of Louboutins. I don't like, I just don't like red. However, these, I don't know how to pronounce this. The Mac and Mac, Mac and Mac, <laughs> Mach and Mach. <laughs> I want a pair of these heels so badly, but there's no way in heck my thick butt can wear these heels without breaking an ankle. I do not have the ankle stability to wear these. If they had a block chunky heel, I would figure out how to make it happen because they're so beautiful. I feel like somebody could easily dupe these heels though. It's just like a crystal like shoelace. Ooh, don't like the green, but I like the bow. I was thinking about getting a Chloe bag a little while ago as like a work bag to put like my laptop and my notebooks in when I'm working not from home. I haven't done anything about it though yet. Okay, I need to take a second and think about what I'm missing in my closet. So I got the bras, I got the dresses. What else do you need for a capsule wardrobe? I already have jeans. I have sandals I think will work for spring and summer. We got the tanks. You know what? I need some graphic tees. City Chic had some graphic tees I wanted to try. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this order. I might add something, I might not. You'll find out next time. And then we'll move on to City Chic. All right, I have placed my order. Now I'm on City Chic's website. I wanna see what they have. I'm looking for some graphic tees that I could throw on with leggings and jeans, just because I know that's gonna be the move this summer. I also, I have a few workout shirts that will be fine, but I might have to get like some workout tanks but we'll see. Anyway, let's move on to this. This Perdita top in sand looks really cute. Let me just scroll through. We'll take a little looky. Original Eagle tee and almond. That would be a nice graphic tee, I think. Was this a top that I got? Yes, this is one that I got. I actually ended up returning this one because I didn't like that it was separate pieces, but I love the look of it. So cute. Oh, they have it in black. I really like the black as well. This is another graphic tee. It's similar to the one that I already got from them. I 
I'm so picky when it comes to graphic tees. I can never find ones that I'm like in love with. So it would be cool if these would work for me. Let's go to new arrivals. This is kind of cute. If it was in pink, I think I would like it a little bit more. Ooh, is this a dress? No, it's a top. This would be a really cute dress. I actually really like this dress. I love, if this was a shirt, that would be super cool. I like to wear interesting tops when I'm filming just so my outfits aren't like boring and this would be a good one for filming. However, I already have the organza tops that are long sleeves so I don't know if I need this even though it's really pretty. There's a lot of like resort wear out which is cool. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more shopping off camera just so I don't show you everything right now. That way there is a little bit of a surprise for when the video comes out in a few weeks when everything comes in and I can edit it of all the stuff that I got today. I'm not going to be buying too, too much more, but there is a few things that I just thought of that I also wanted to add to my cart. So I'm going to purchase those and then I will see you guys in a few weeks with the follow-up video for this one. I know this video was super chill. I'm a little bit low energy. I tried to make my coffee. So thank you guys for watching this video and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun doing a little bit of shopping with me. I hope I made you feel like you were here with me and we were shopping together. So I will see you guys in my next video on Sunday. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. I put out videos every Thursday and Sunday consistently. I haven't missed an upload in over a year. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.